We're going to begin with the rising pressure on Capitol Hill for new gun laws to address an epidemic of gun violence in this country. Children wore bulletproof vests outside the Capitol to drive home their message about the need to do something about guns. And Uvalde, Texas native Matthew McConaughey also visited lawmakers with his own push for new gun measures. A group of four senators, two from each party, is leading the effort to find compromise or try. Scott McFarland is on Capitol Hill for us in the middle of it all. Scott, good morning. We've seen pressure before. The question is, is there any progress? Well, Tony, we know those four senators met again last night to talk about a possible bill with provisions for mental health and for school safety. But later today, relatives of those killed in recent shootings and some high-profile advocates will try to nudge the negotiations along. After another violent weekend in America, there's mounting pressure for action on gun laws in the Senate. Senators, please act. Don't look away. Don't look away. Students wearing bulletproof vests also urge lawmakers in their second week of negotiations to pass stronger gun laws. This country cannot look away as our schools and our neighborhoods become killing fields. Connecticut Democrat Chris Murphy, who is leading the bipartisan discussion, says he's optimistic, while Texas Republican John Cornyn laid down a series of red lines on the Senate floor. We're not talking about banning a category of weapons across the board. I'm trying to make clear that I'm not going to do anything that violates anybody's Second Amendment rights. Possible areas of agreement could include helping states enact or improve their red flag laws, which allow courts to seize guns from anyone deemed dangerous, as well as taking mental health measures and increasing school safety funding. Actor Matthew McConaughey, who's from Uvalde, Texas, joined the calls for stronger legislation Monday on Capitol Hill. In an op-ed on gun reform, he called for greater background checks and raising the age to buy an assault rifle to 21 saying, I believe that responsible, law-abiding Americans have a Second Amendment right to bear arms. I also believe we have a cultural obligation to take steps towards slowing down the senseless killing of our children. What are we supposed to do with all of this anger, with all of this pain? This morning, Garnell Whitfield Jr. will appear before senators. His mother, Ruth, was killed in the shooting rampage at the Buffalo Tops grocery store. We hope in some small way to contribute there's some positive change to take this anger and this hole in our hearts and make sure it doesn't happen to somebody else. Some states aren't waiting for Congress. New York Governor Kathy Hochul, three weeks after the Buffalo shooting, signed a slew of new gun measures into law, including one that would raise the age for purchasing semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21. And Dana, the governors of Delaware and New Jersey want their state legislatures to pass similar bills. Compromise never easy. Scott, thank you.